G'day and welcome back for more assertive acquisitions with yeah. me and a very shiny capac. This, that's this a creepy cryopod level of shine. Is making me seasick. Because <laughs> everything's shaky. It's not just the cryopod. Why are you so shiny? I mean, I can see the cryopod shaking. No, you're shaking. It may well be sta stationary. It's all relative. But no, because I can see it shaking relative to the things it's attached to. I can see it jiggling about. Maybe the things it's attached to is shaking and it's not. Because uh, we're attached is, to the thing it's attached to. That is also possible. <laughs> but regardless, something is shaking. Yes. And it's not I, me because I'm fixed relative to the med bay. I think the whole thing is shaking and I don't know why. Scav here, but it's uh, In fact, I think it may have something to do with this uh, ion thruster here. Ow. Could be that. Possible. Possible. Or. Well, I can fix that if we can door figure out where we're going to put this thing. I'm trying to locate where this bong bong bonging is coming from. What are we doing? Oh yeah, we were heading towards the planet. Yeah, um, let's lock everything down and let's take a jump. Uh, pretty sure all my stuff is locked yeah. down. Looks like everything is. Well, this the giant wreck isn't. Oh, no wreck. And also no that's where Bane's going place. from, because my frenzy's stuck good. Oh, no wreck. Oh, there. Uh, this thing's still attached. Um, alright, yeah, because I was, I was moving this wreck with the frenzy. That's right. Uh, Kabak. <laughs> There's a job for the schnoz. Yeah? There's a job for the schnoz. Yeah, what, what is the job? The big pit of wreck that's above the skywarp that yeah, what I do you moved want me to with do the with frenzy. I, I want you to lock it down. We grab it and then get it. back on your connector. Uh, that's not going to work. Grab it and then... Um, uh, I need some magpie in the skywarp somewhere and attach it to it. <laughs> Yeah, all right. I'll put a ma I'll put a mag plate on the sky warp somewhere in, or actually no, grab it and attach it to the marlin. That should work, right, TFE? Um, cool. uh, on the one tiny mag plate it's got yeah, the near the monkey face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Wait, why have I not got the other one? Yeah, I just got to get rid of that one. Oh well. Oh. My cockpit's what? gone quite in quite transparent. What? Yeah, my cockpit on the Frenzy's uh, mostly transparent. Alright, you got it? Well, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> I mean, wasn't it already blasted to bits by something else? No. But it was, I thought that's how we ended up fighting it, that they... Well, I mean, it was blasted to bits by the Skywarp for a bit. Uh, you locked, Cafe? Yeah. He is. It's just, it's a very heavy piece of wreck. It's gonna be worth a lot when we can sell it. It looks like it's got a lot of heavy armor on it. Uh, it's got some blast doors as well. It's got a lot of atmospheric thrust. I don't think it's got anything of value in its cargo though. Yeah, just a few explosives. Oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> 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 she uh, says explosives and then... <laughs> no! 300 uranium in the reactor you say? No. Oh. It is the reactor. To repair the reactor to get that out, because that's a lot of uranium to drop on the ground. How did the reactor... Geez, the reactor is yet pretty heavily damaged. No, it's not too bad. Like, yeah, it's a bit bad, but it's not horrible, horrible. Oh yeah, are these hydrogen trusses on the Skywarp ever going to get used or turned on? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I was think I've been thinking about um, that as well as some other stuff. And... If we can find ourselves, if we can get ourselves close to that planet and find some trade stations nearby, um, then I was thinking we could probably set ourselves up in an asteroid, make a little bit of a dry dock sort of situation for all the ships, detach everything from the Skywarp, I can work on it, you guys can work on building a station and collecting resources and we can do the whole that together, and then we can kind of reorganize the fleet without constantly being on the moon. I hope it's like one of those ice asteroids. They're pretty rare. Yeah, or just even just an iron containing asteroid or magnesium, something that that's, we regularly need um, so that we can just mine the whole lot. 
but really just an asteroid that we like the look of. Um, so how we get what am I gonna just whack a mag plate on the front of this ship, have I? Oh, you got a mag plate on your ship already. I'm oh. gonna use I'll... that. Yeah, Tiffy, you help guide him in, I'll just keep growing this reactor. I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna try and lock down and smash the nose off. <laughs> I'm not sure Kabak's gonna be that I don't think Kabak's that kind of person. I might do it by accident, just from the inertia on this thing. Oh, at least the hangar door's closed. <laughs> like, he'd do it if it was my build, but not. I don't think he'd do it to you. Unless I just annoyed him recently. It's locked. It is? Yep. I you are locked. can't tell from where I am. I'm you choosing are, no, it is. You are definitely locked. Okay. I have picked up 300 uranium. I will head to the bridge. Skywarp. Do the bridge. Yeah, there's some stuff I want to do on the Skywarp which will make it difficult to use for a bit. And so I'd like to um, not be... Basically, I'd like to not be in um, a situation where we might want to use it. So having a, some sort of station that we're locked down to that has some degree of defences would be great. Are you going to move, Kapak? Are you, are you already on moving? All right, jumping. Nope, it won't let me. Not this again. Oh yeah, that's right, we were having this problem, weren't we? Yeah, that we were suspicious something on the underside was blocking the jump. Yeah. Well, it might be worth doing a jump with the Marlin and seeing if that clears the problem. Even if it's just a short jump. Yeah, give that a might, go. Might yep. be enough to correct it. Oh wait, I need to spin you around so you're facing the right way. Uh, yes. Spinny, 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 spin. How far should we jump? Seven. As far as we can. Oh, I can only do 138 kilometers. <laughs> well, 138 it is. I can barely see the jump effect from here. Yeah, it's probably inside the press. Okay, now I guess we try to jump the skywalk again and see if it works. Still can't, obstacle detected. All right, Ooh, so we- trade station. Oh, oh, okay, let's go to the trade station, sell off some of this junk Wait, and then see where is we... it? They're talking I can to see us, it. Like... Yeah. Uh, it is ahead of us, which is oh, also behind us. Yep. Oh, over there. Yeah, beside the station. So what have we changed to block the jump? Uh, I sure hope none of those thrusters are cooking off TFB's ship. No, they don't. I think we tested and they don't hit it. Let's try and sell off everything we can. Yeah, I wonder if it's one of the, the wreck attached to the underside. Yeah, I'm thinking it's the thrusters, the SR thrusters that are underneath. So we might try and merge block the extra oh, assert thrusters. Oh down. yeah, because it's a separate grid rather than being a subgrid. Yeah, I wonder if it's that or if it's the one that's inside the hangar that's and attached the to the, the green thruster menace. is slowly plated, torching the mag plate attached to. <laughs> yeah, I think if we clean all this stuff up at it's the station, the thruster should be right. going. Why is that thruster going? Why is what thruster going? I don't know. Big assert thruster. Where? How is it going? That's what I just said. It's because there's a battery on the... Yeah, but why is the thruster trying to go? Dampeners are still on. The override is off. But the dampeners on that grid must be on. Switch the thruster off. Oh. Um, so yeah... What the... That pack what? just cap act me! Uh, I, just, <laughs> I just see the... I didn't the, even but, see the, anything. And, and now the body bag is bouncing into the side of the marlin. <laughs> oh, the, the body bag's actually landed on the side of the... Um... Yeah, one of the side hangers. It's wedged in the corner. Whoa! Who's that? What? Oh, my... No, my dampener stopped working. Apparently... Even though I was next to the marlin, I'm guessing I was damped to the skywarp, so I started... Drifting away. I should probably get back up to the bridge since we are moving right now. Wow, this wing has a big hole in it now. Yes, that's why I want to dry dock this thing and I want to do some reworking of interiors and removing of some bits and making it all a bit more functional. Oh, entering the force field looks so cool inside. It looks like a scanner. Huh. <laughs> okay, what's this big ship called? So I'm gonna go sell it. Sell all the ships. Truda 3 Escort Carrier. Ooh, 
This station is different. Yep, it's the Intruder 3 Escort Carrier. Um, do I need to disconnect it from the mull? Uh, let's see if this place has a sale thing first. Good point. <laughs> Shipyard terminal. Oh, yeah, scrap this is... purchasing. Yeah, this where is it? This looks like a shipbuilder sort of thing. Am I? Down the bottom. Uh, MPC ACS ACM Hakati ATS. Uh, no, that's the thrusters down the bottom. So that's worth five point six million. There's a large grid that's worth one point three million. Don't don't sell just random large grid. I sell what I want. I will sell. Oh yes. I will sell the Intruder Three Escort Carrier for 162 million. Yeah. I will sell the Schnoz for 113 million. Hey. <laughs> Rude. Oh yeah, Kevin is very shiny. It's like sparkling. Yeah, he's been in the shiny suit all day. Didn't look like that before. Oh, I can't shoot in the safe zone. Well, um, that's that's sold. Uh, Profit. Right, what are you gonna buy for us? For you? Yeah. Uh, wasn't gonna buy anything. I was gonna buy another damage reduction for me. Or should I get an anti personnel inhibitor and an anti energy inhibitor? I could get both of those to one level. Do either of you two have a research point? Um, how do I see that again? You have to go to the terminal, as far as I know. Let's say in the cost. Uh, I do not. Okay. He's distracted by an ATM. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to deposit all my money. Um, what do you guys reckon? Should I get the second level of damage reduction, or should I get some anti-personnel and anti-energy inhibitor things? Who's getting the other two anti ones would be good. Ugh. Yeah, I might. It'll so help us get more research points. Oh, potentially. Wait, this is wood. Whose idea was it to? Dye their wooden paneling black. <laughs> um, it's charcoal. Yeah, it's been burned. Um, recovered from a fire. Uh, space station gutted by fire. There we go. I have a level of anti personnel inhibitor. I have a level of anti energy inhibitor. And I have a level of damage reduction. And I still have 88 million credits. Well, Splitzy is the all round man. And there is one zone chip available at this station. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't they only last like 30 minutes or something? An hour. Alrighty, so the bulky bends the other, s other one to sell. I mean, you might just be able to fly that one into the safe zone. Yeah, I was gonna disconnect it and fly it in. Bulky ban. So much? 17.9 million. Alright, so now we need to. Oh, yeah, to... attempt to jump. No, we need to move the SR thrusters as well. Alright. Here is the so green grabby thing, whatever it's green called. Green menace taxi yep. service required. Tow truck service, what do you what? want to call it? Recovery service. What do you want? So we're Three gonna minutes. move all of these assert thrusters somewhere where we can lock them down and actually have them count as part of the Skywarp. Uh alright, where's that gonna be? Um, I guess we can put some temporary merge blocks on the bottom side here. Uh yep, yeah. okay. So uh, I'll start putting the merge blocks down if you start getting the thrusters free. You've already got one at what? No, I'm getting the getting the tugboat with the other one. Yeah, that's what I meant. One sec. Let me just add the merge block to it. There you go. So we should just be able to do a merge block like that for each one. <clears throat> and uh, build up a bit of a collection that way. Get shot off the next time we get attacked. Uh, potentially, yeah. But being ion thrusters, they'll at least be useful while they're on here. For a tiny bit of lifting thrust, I suppose. Alright, do we have any other assert thrusters around here? Also, why is there a capac um, backpack here? Again, this is one of those things that you should be more like, why isn't there? Uh, yeah, but are there any other assert thrusters around the place, or is it just those three? Um, I think that's it, unless there's another wreck somewhere that I don't know about. I don't think so. Alright, right, cool. Go back to hangar bait. Yep, and I will head back up to the bridge and see if I can jump. Oh. Hopefully I can. Quite annoying not being able to jump with the ship that's meant to carry everything. Literally in the name. Ah, the handbag. Oh wait, I'm detecting an obstacle. Ah, ah. The, station. the jump works. Yay, success. All right, where's that planet at? Um, Are you connected, Capac? Uh, yeah, I 
him now. Oh, so the next tier of upgrades is 200 million each. Hmm. Not cheap. Do that. Is that a red bit on the planet? Yes. Bleeding. Yes. Sure. Been invaded by the world eaters. Alright, we're a little bit closer. Oh, we are. How long have we got until the jump drives recharge? Seven minutes. Nah. Always seven minutes. If you're charging at Mac rate. Right? So, is that a moon behind it or is it a planet that's even further away? Inventory. Looks like a moon to me. Should we try to make a base that's in between the planet and the moon so we can go to either? We could do. Or we could try and make a base that can see both of them at the same time. We do have jump drives. After all. But yeah, we could try and be sort of in between the two. Seems as good a spot as any. The worry would be that there might be a lot of traffic going between the two. Well, we are pirates. We want traffic. Well, yes. Although maybe not for our hideout. Mm, yeah. Well, I guess there's not much to do while we wait. Oh, I suppose I can make that make a fighter, couldn't I? Uh. What? Have you disconnected me? No. Are you in it? Yes. Have you ever considered trying to hold on to one of those for longer than um, a day? So that nope. I might want to give you some of the assert thrusters that we find? Nope. I can't deal with that level of responsibility. That's true, but I'm sure whether you changed your mind around that. Rude. It's a lane. <laughs> trying to jump over your head. Yeah, like trying, that. being the operative word. Get, when I get a foot in the face. That's pretty rude. Oh, duck! Yeah. I can't, I pressed the wrong key. <laughs> you press control instead of yep. C. It's only about three minutes till the thing now. Up drive 93% charged. 5% charged. That didn't sound good. Doesn't sound like that. Jump drives cannot be used to jump into a natural gravity field. Oh yeah. Oh, jeez. Still it's less than 750 meters away. Uh, sorry, 50 750 meters. meters. <laughs> it's, less, <clears throat> it's less than 600 kilometers away. We're all gonna die. Been sucked into the planetary gravity. Okay. And it's left less than 750 meters away. Where's my parachute? And we're jumping. I know. Well, uh, that's that. not a good idea. Why not? Because I'm nowhere near a seat. <laughs> See ya. I'm saved. Come on, Kavak, get in a seat. How are you supposed to tell people when you're doing stuff like jumping faster than the yeah. speed of light? Yeah, I was literally telling you how close the planet was, which was my way of saying <laughs> the jump drive is ready. <laughs> we need to have, anything? like, the security for jumping needs to be like the ready? submarine launch, yes. where you need, like, three people to agree. No, you guys need to also tell me when you've sat down so that then I can start the jump rather than me having to figure it out for myself. Alright. Well, I did that. I did not tell you that I was seated, seating down. Seated down, seating down. Oh, okay, we are close to that planet. Yes, we are. Alright, let's find an asteroid. There's one just behind us. Oh, there's multiple ones. Oh. And there's Poseidon Station nearby. Neat. It's gonna be an interesting little collection of asteroids. This little cluster. But we don't have to stop at the very first one that we find. It does have some little doom voxels. Looks like. Are they a bit of a concern? I find asteroids like just inside the gravity field. Oh. Well, oh, what happened, you just die to the acceleration of the skywalk? I almost died. Because <laughs> I was <laughs> in one of the rear airlocks and I activated my jetpack and I flew out of the door and almost smacked it to uh, the Marlin. <laughs> so, Capac, how would you feel about being given the title of Foreman of the Asteroid? Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, congratulations, Capac, you are Foreman. You are responsible for constructing the asteroid station. TFE, you are given veto powers over the Foreman. <laughs> hmm. I mean, there's what? not much point. What, I'm like the quartermaster on a pirate ship. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> There's not much point what? Okay, you know I'm, I'm like sure splitzy. whatever I... I... Hormonize. 
Which is going to be like, well, actually, that doesn't work with the way that I've designed the Skywarp, so it'll all have to change. No, you do whatever you want. Right, time to connect all these yeah. asteroids to each other. I do whatever I want, and then you come in and say, no, it has to change. Um, I, mean, I mean, all we need is somewhere for the Skywarp to hook up to it, right? Yeah, so I'll build the Skywarp's attachment once you guys have started picking out where the base is going to be and all that sort of thing. Do you want it at these asteroids, or do you want to... Should we look for some other clusters? We could do this one, because then we could put, like, um... A bridge between some of them. Yeah, and, like, have, yeah, separate bits on separate asteroids. Yeah. This is my asteroid. This is your asteroid. Uh, more than if we're going to put any sort of hydrogen storage, it won't blow up everything in a detonate. <laughs> I'm going to paint this line down the middle, and you shan't cross. You two probably want to start with making docking setups for the Schnoz, the Doratron, and the Marlin. Mm. And then we can deal with the Skywarp after that. Oh, Marlin, I'm running out of oxygen. That's something we really need to put on the base. Yep. You can put a whole bunch of stuff that you would like to have. Can you imagine if I hit a Doom Voxel with the Skywarp? Oh. Oh, ice! There's Ooh. some of it. Yeah, one little mini bit has ice. Oh, you out there with your drill or something? Yeah. Should we just slap a whole bunch of drills on the front of the Skywarp and just drill a big <laughs> hole through the asteroid? I've been <laughs> tempted more than once, Kamak. What, and, and store the, hide the carrier inside the asteroid? We cut it cool. Don't think any of these asteroids are big enough. I mean, we could go and try and find an asteroid that is big enough. Do, do you seriously want to try it, Kamak? Hmm. Does sound interesting. It does. Like, the drill array would have to be big enough for the back wings, if we did that. Or I could yeah. right-click mine rather than actually collecting resources. Yeah, I was thinking about right-click mining anyway. Or, or we could put them on the back and reverse in. Yeah, obviously all of the current ships would have to disconnect. But yeah, this yeah, yeah. biggest asteroid in this cluster is not big enough for that. Really? Yeah. Skywarp's longer than it. So I think there's either magnesium or cobalt in this asteroid. Okay, so... some ice. So, are we seriously building massive drill array on the front, or are we building in this asteroid? You're the foreman, Kamak, what are we doing? I say... <laughs> is that massive is that a, drill? Is that a massive drill, or is that a build here? Uh, I feel like we gotta do the massive drill. Yeah, now that we've suggested it, we have to do it. Okay, so, can anyone see any other asteroids around here? No. If, if not, I might just do some mini jumps. So, I am not may want currently to find a board. seat. Yeah. Uh, hold on a sec. Do something. I mean, I won't leave you too far behind, because there'll be five kilometer jumps, but still. Imagine you'll get annoyed at me. Ah. Now, where did my oxygen bottle go? To ah, fireworks piston, eh, <laughs> Oh, oh, did that get set in chat? <laughs> yes, it did. Stupid. Loading around when I'm trying oh, to build nice. vision. Getting ready to jump. Please be seated. I yep. am not seated. Jumping. Commencing in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and starting the jump Climo. countdown. Are you in a seat, Kapak? Nope. What? Yes, he is. He lied. I, I am now. I was literally walking to it when you asked. I'm just imagining him about to climb into the seat and then just vanish. That was very close to happening. Well, he's left me behind before. And you deserved it. Alright, I can only see this asteroid down to the right, so we'll head toward it. Look very big. Oh, there's two. Yeah, Wait, is that, the, is that the one we came from? Oh, no, that's those ones. Oh, yeah, there's one down below us as well. This asteroid might be big. Oh, yeah, it's still. We jumped five. We jumped what, 15 kilometers? It hasn't got much bigger. Oh, no. It is now three kilometers away. Yeah. Not let me jump. Oh, it might fit inside at a slightly weird angle. <laughs> You know that does damage to the ship, right? Um, well, not if he flies it out that far. Plus, why are you firing them now? Surely you'd save them for the you grand ocean. You ricocheted off the ship. 
Oh. Yeah, I think it, did, it was just one of the gun turrets, so you don't matter. Because they save it for when the asteroid opens. Fine, I'll retract the fireworks launcher. Oh, the reflections of the arms thrusters are making it look like the hydrogens are active. Huh. And they pulse. Oh, that's a Magellan, not one of those things again. Nope, never again. I mean, it worked up until the point where Capac shot the jump drive. <laughs> I mean, we still got a quite lucrative amount of materials from it. Yes, so we've got even more if we were stupid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Blown up that other bit of it. Um, is it the same asteroid? I hope not. It's well, getting closer pretty quickly. We've got to already fight people off our lawn. Uh, maybe you want to rotate the skywalk so the morsel guns are facing it rather than the sorted nonsense connected to the underside. Oh, well. Also, don't crash into the asteroid. <laughs> don't say. Uh, yeah, it's passing. Oh, we're passing. Seriously close. Uh oh, enemy defense. Ready the main guns! Open fire! Oh, look at all my guns turn at the same time, is amazing. The... Uh. What? I just got out of the seat on the bridge and died. What? Well, that wasn't smart. You should avoid dying. It's my body. Um, I'm still not sure this asteroid's big enough. Oh no, my body's inside the. I don't know if I an even bigger asteroid. Uh oh, they've called in a vigilante. Yep. <laughs> Let's cap back. <laughs> My body oh, yeah. is inside the ship. Uh, the vigilante's heading its way. No, it is. We're taking shots at it. Well, while you're doing that, I'm grinding down this pipe. Oh, it's going back! Yes, <laughs> it is. Bridge taking some heavy hits. Shoot more guns! Shoot more! There we go. Yeah, that would have been a bad time to discover we'd run out of magnesium or something. Well, it's a good thing I did do some lining of some iron and iron and things. Oh yeah, we've still got like thousands and thousands that's still being refined as we speak. Yeah. Uh, what's the damage report for the front of the character? Uh, mainly armor, actually. Back down there in the rumble. All right, come back. Land. We're jumping. What? Why? Because it's just launched to help with this fight. Oh! Ow! Wait, it's shooting again. Ow! All right, come back. Fine, go for it. Don't lose another ship. I will. You know what? I'm gonna go join him, TFA. Yep. Is he gonna crash in the asteroid? Awfully close. That would be a very tacky end thing to do. Um. Hey. Yeah. What is shooting me? Uh, the guns. What Warning. guns? Enemy detected. Warning. Enemy detected. Oh, Warning. there's a heavy Enemy shuttle detected. incoming. Warning. We might Enemy shoot detected. it. Actually, no. Scratch that. We're definitely shooting it. Of course we find a good asteroid and apparently it's... Well, it's not a good asteroid, it's not big enough. Well, a decent asteroid and then it turns out everyone's here. Okay. Oh, the target locked to the vigilante. Oh no, they're targeting it. I think this thing's dead. Why my guns not too? Explosion from it from Camax bullets. Are we still? Um, yes, main? we're still shooting the shuttle. <laughs> oh boy, there's another vigilante. Oh, you uh, it's, it's heading for you two. Camax switch targets to the other vigilante. Whoa. 
always amazing how hasty your trait now has been annihilated. Holding up again there. Come back. Uh, no. Did you just get destroyed? Not yet. Uh, try and see see if you can lure it back to the sky warp. Well, I've got no ammo, so I'm heading back anyway. So if it's targeting you and then gets within range of the sky warp's guns, that's perfect. Yeah, where is the sky warp? I mean, it should already be, unless the angle it's at, it can't get a line of. Ow, ow, ow. Oh yeah, Rumble is very on fire. This thing's got turrets. Little grids with turrets. Oh. Big cannons are acquiring it. Get clear. Let's get a crash to the carrier. Oh no. Oh, it just died. It's hit the carrier. It hasn't died though. Yeah, it hasn't died. Oh, I, I did, just know. Nah, what is happening? Uh, I thought I just saw a rail gun. You did, it was me. Ah, oh, there's a hole in the bridge. There's my stuff. You die in that. When yeah, it crashed I, think, into the ship. I think just before it crashed, its turrets might have turned target and shot me. I hate these ships so much. Oh. That's a bit of damage. Glad I was planning on dry docking it. Yeah, it impacted on the front left. Luckily it didn't like crash into any of the partial things. Skywalk moving? No, Skywalk's not moving. Okay. Oh. So? First thrust. Oh. No idea where the remote is on these things. I've split it into multiple pieces. So and the last be... bit's drifting away. It's got heavy armor because it survives smashing into the skull at pretty decent speed. Uh, the bit around the rail guns at the front appears to have taken some hits. And then the front left side's got a bit of a hole in it. Well, I mean, the Skywarp was intended to be somewhat of a battle carrier, so it has proven itself. Yes, I'm looking forward to having all of the other ships detached so that I can work on it pro properly. Let's continue our search for another asteroid, because the one we're at is too small. Oh, jeez, Capac's here. <laughs> Do you yes. see crash into him inside the hangar? Any chance you can reverse so I can go through, since you're apparently just... Well, I don't have any reverse thrusters, so the chances <laughs> of that are pretty slim. Sounds like it's going well. Fine. Let's so go out and go the other way. I asked <laughs> TFE to stick out the Marlins with the welders. You both end up driving into the welding thing at the same time and hit each other. <laughs> sort of expecting that. But I didn't have too much damage to repair. Well, We're jumping breach again? didn't get breached somehow. Um... Look at the floor, it looked like it did to me. Right, I'm docked. Oh, right, yeah, there's missing <laughs> the floor. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, this isn't here, this is, um. Bridge windows didn't illusion. get breached. Yeah. Alright, can anyone see another one? Oh, they nearly did. This window's only at 43% health. Uh, there's one nose down past the star fire. Storm fire. See? Yeah, there's one that's in its direction the direction it's headed and then there's one that's in the opposite direction it's a little cluster but i don't know if that's the cluster we came from we want to head more towards the planet um i don't want to head more towards the moon to be honest oh there's an asteroid in front of us i'm gonna go inspect it how far away is it i don't know i'll tell you when i get there I mean, can we can do 160 meters per second in, well, quite faster, but... Uh, it's definitely slower, because we go the effectively 500 meters a second when we're jumping repeatedly. Why do I see green... Oh, it's not moving too much. Hopefully no ship comes and interrupts this inspection. Oh, right, that's the planet. I thought for a second those were asteroids even lower. Have we got a asteroid composition report? Uh, it's made of rocks. Pretty sure. It's not made out of stone. <laughs> not super large. It's not super oh, large. All oh, right, my man's the only thing that has a or did a large bit of take around. Oh, uh, platinum. Oh. Well, it's probably good. worth marking anyway. 
Uh, Parallax Dangerous Encounter 6 kilometers away is bloody concerning. Oh, I see Capax head um, yeah. suit lights shining. Yeah, which makes the asteroid look a lot smaller, doesn't it? Does it have powerful as lights are? I've lost all sense of scale. <laughs> yeah. Can you not see the Skywarp right next to you? I can. Well, I can see it over there past the horizon of the is asteroid. There, is that Cobalt or Magnesium oh, just there? Uh, cobalt. So we got Cobalt and Platinum. Seems like a pretty good asteroid. Cobalt's on the surface, the Platinum looks like it's underneath. Right, so I've made a GPS for Cobalt and Platinum. Do we want to just look at a couple of other asteroids before we decide which one we like the best, rather than just picking one? This way we can kind of I suppose so. Well, this is the first one we've found where yeah, the Star Wars would conceivably fit. Yep. I think this one that I'm headed to must be pretty big, because it's not changing size much. Yeah. Are you heading to the one that's near the Terminator of the planet? Or the walls yeah, yeah. Yep. I keep seeing you jump in and then I catch up with you and then you jump in again. And then I <laughs> yeah. It does seem like it might be quite large. Ooh, and yeah. the yeah. lighting yeah. is making it to gravity yeah. field. Or just on the very edge. Uh, no. But it uh, does look very big. I'll, I'll head for the uh, southernmost point so I can see if I detect any gravities. I mean, it should only be, what, like 0 0.05, even if there is yeah. some. I just couldn't jump ahead another 5Ks because then I'd be inside the gravity field. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this one This one seems oh, yeah. like it's I'm more in, than big enough. I'm in 0 0.05 now. Yeah, this one is big. It should still work because, I mean, arm thrusters still work 100% up here. Yeah, 0 0.05 gravity. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm at the... We've now got closest to the planet now at 0.06. So are we are we going in a gravity asteroid? Are we risk? Are we willing to do that? Oh, why not? Well, we could. It's we very could put weak all the, gravity. We could put all the ships at the topmost part, part furthest away from the planet. Yeah. Uh, what's on the asteroid? So it looks like the whole asteroid is within 0.06. So there's not going to be any. Yeah, but yeah, I guess, yeah, if we put stuff on the top, then at least if it falls, it'll fall to the asteroid and not into the abyss. Besides, I want to have some really unsafe ledges and walk base. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, um... Any oars? It's like a real big crater. Over here, this might be a good place to start building a tunnel, because it's uh, already in a natural... I'll put it deep, yes. So, sounds like you guys have picked this one then? Yeah, and we know where Cobalt in Platinum is, it's only what, 35, 36 kilometers away. I didn't see ores on the outside. Uh, should be able to tunnel through. So, okay, we have to, there are a couple of things we have to do. First off, you guys have to get all of the ships disconnected from the Skywall. Hmm, which means uh, while you're doing that, I'll work on them. the drill array. It's up that way. Yeah, this crater is huge. Well, I think we just drill like a big tunnel through with the skywalk down in this crater. And then we're not like messing up the surface. Oh, well, actually, yeah, it is. Yeah, that could work. And I'd say the sky's got enough thrust. Alright, we're detaching things. Yes, please. Uh, now we get to do this. The... Please do detach from skywalk. Okay, I will detach the Marlin right. and uh, does find anything, who the asteroid to attach to. Does anything need towing? Because I can grab it with the schnoz. I can't believe we're building a skywarp sized drilling array. It's ridiculous. Where's that gonna happen? Can crash? What isn't ridiculous? Is there no ores here? Because my ore detector's not. Uh, not I didn't find anything while I was flying I can, around, but I it's can pretty scan big. It with the with the jug. Well, I've got a scanner as well. Apparently, I'm not even detecting an asteroid here. Not reassuring. Oh wait, I'm detecting. Wow, I'm detecting stone. Useful and. May just be stone. Stone and iron, apparently. Okay. We haven't seen any iron yet. Starting with iron is not a bad thing. Very true. We're building a giant drilling thing. All right. Uh, the schnoz is locked on the surface. 
would it be easier to build a face full of welders and then build the just place down the drills in front of it? Yeah, that's oh, I'll so, oh, so do like a grid pattern. Wait, could you do that? You just put a welder in the middle, and then put a bunch like a well, nine the drills around can it. Self weld. Yeah. Um, that may actually be quicker. Hey, come back. Yeah. See the pattern that I've started laying out with the drills. Yeah. So it's a it's a cross pipe, followed by drills of, on the diagonals. Do you reckon uh, you can continue that pattern, and I'll keep moving the welder that's behind it? Um. Uh, Does the pattern make sense yet? Yeah, but it might be quicker if like one of us was doing one block pipe. Well, you're not welding it up. You just got to place them down. No, no, but like, like if one of us is doing the pipes and one is doing the drills. Keep switching back and forth. We should be able to get this built relatively quickly if I do it this way. Just because drills take up so much inventory space, I think this is going to be quicker. The lunacy it's... of this is going to be when the drills all start spinning and it shakes the sky wall. Well, it's a good thing all that extra stuff isn't attached to it. Oh, well, I guess from the vigilante attack, we've now got a new entrance to get into the ship. Oh, uh, maybe. I mean, don't fire the rail guns by accident. <laughs> I may have put these too close to the thrusters. I may have to switch those thrusters off and just build some temporary reverse. Maybe we should just dig the hole with rail guns. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Yeah. I wonder if that red patch on the planet is on it. Whoa. That's a thing. Looking at it at a distance. Yep. Yep. Do what? I try and push this out? Because I hadn't really accounted for the drill side, the roster side of things. Probably should. Might be okay. Count it's on. about five-ish blocks. Six. I mean, drills are pretty durable. Yeah, it'll be very annoying to break it midway through the deep. Yes. Sounds about right. I hope the drills don't explode when I do this. Well, watch if it does. One, two, three... It's six blocks now. There'd be six uh, blocks at this The thrust is up to five? I mean, if you're inching forward slowly enough, you don't even necessarily have to have the reversing dampeners on. True. It's often preferable, but... Although, for maneuvering into position, in the first place, you probably will. Yes. Well, the way the drills are set up, we should be able to collect resources with these, not just destroy mine. Um, not entirely sure there was any point in doing that, but thought it'd be funny to try and collect this much stone. Oh no. What? Okay. You're gonna hit the button. It's gonna turn on the drills. If yep. the game doesn't crash, the ship is instantly gonna fill with stone and you'll have to turn the drills off. And then we'll wait for the stone to process. Now uh, we've got a lot of refineries. We'll we'll get through the stone, don't worry. The only problem is the refineries are still processing other rockets. It's a lot of drills. They are? Uh, but when I checked, they were processing magnesium. Oh, they got uranium to process. It's not that much ore. There's not that much ore left. Any Splitsy can look at this and go, no, it won't produce too much stone. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to produce a stupid amount, but it doesn't matter if we end up with too much because it then just gets deleted. I'm not going to I'm not going to slow down the drilling just to get the resources from the drilling. Okay, because this is far. Whoa, you've gone a long way out the sides beyond. I thought you were going to leave the corners angled. I didn't think you were going to make it square. I'm just I'm just going. I think you've gone too far. I, I, did, I kept saying I need dimensions and nobody gave me any so I picked 11 and that's what I went to Okay, I think we're done <sighs> Impossible This is this is not gonna work. It will work. <laughs> Believe oh. It will work uh, 663 drills awesome There goes your painting effort now that Oh, just got the red done. Sounds good. 
Well, I'm gonna get in the cockpit and I'm gonna start flying this thing. Oh boy. Oh man, there's so much damage on the sun. <laughs> well, I got an easy solution for that. Well, the carrier. Don't go on that side. Okay, first thing I think we want to test is how well this thing turns now. <laughs> no, first thing we want to test is how much does this shake when I turn all the drills on? Oh boy, I want to see this. Three, <laughs> two, I one. Stand clear. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> oh wow, wow, with the color that's really hypnotic. Oh, you, you should see it from where I'm standing. Oh yeah, that's, that's, oh. Oh, my eyes are, uh, that, I, that's actually it's simultaneously really cool but really disorientating to look at oh it's even better if you go like slightly cross-eyed like you're doing a 3d yeah. puzzle you have kind of done that by accident all oh, right we've got a guide splits into where on earth he's meant to be tunneling into this wait a second sense. wait he's gonna have to tunnel vertically downwards relative to the plan isn't he no i'm not doing that i'm staying horizontal um no uh it's kind of it'll gonna... be digging towards the horizon of the planet I was just going to dig in roughly where I'm about to start pointing into that crater there and go through to the other side. Uh, you're talking about the crater that I've marked. I have no idea where the crater is you marked. Um, the, his schnoz is to the right of the crater you marked. That one. Yeah, I don't think that one's going to work. I think the thing is the asteroid goes further that way. Yeah, but going up, not really a thing I'm able to do. And that's before I've started collecting resources with these things. Oh well, there's all that and plenty more to come. And we will crash the game then. <laughs> what if I just go straight ahead from this angle? Um, I need to go down slightly. But good work. Am back, Foreman? Yeah, just pick a place and start digging. He ends up making a whole bunch of crisscrossing tunnels. It's an asteroid eater now. Oh, it is actually more, the colors are more visible from far away. Yeah, the colors actually, yeah, works pretty well from far away. I haven't had time to do the S logo though. It's just a red shield of danger. <laughs> Let's see, are you ready? I'm trying to get close without breaking everything. Oh, yeah, let me check the thruster clearance. Uh, man, it's good. Yes, I suppose you don't want to approach slightly too quickly and... Uh, bad if I broke this now. Yeah. Full speed ahead! Missing your, what, right-click drilling? Launch nope. trail gun! Right, I just good. turned on the drills. Okay. I can bravely stand on top of it. Well... <laughs> I'm probably going to get my head taken out when it drills in. <laughs> Did I try and get above this lip? Wait, have I got a sing Drill down through. emote? Just have go. I? Go, go, go. No second thoughts. Dodge. Okay. Oh! Did you just go flying? What happened? Uh, I'm trying to avoid getting drilled. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not like you can't see it coming, but it's also like, how can you avoid it? Oh. Here we go. Let's make contact. These don't leave any, leave any doom voxels. I mean, worst case scenario, you have to reverse and then right click. Okay, drilling has begun. Drilling has commenced. This is truly insane. How did you convince me to do this, Kahak? The skill. Because we've never done it before. Bro, I've, really, I've never really built an asteroid eater. I've never the really problem is, if we stuff. don't hide the skywarp slash the base, it's probably going to get obliterated by the first thing that goes past. <laughs> well, I can tell you this much. At 34,000 tons, um, the skywarp does not budge at all with the drill shake. <laughs> How fast are you going currently? I'm hovering between 0.1 and 0.2 meters per second. Hmm. Well, okay. I wonder if you like turn the damages off and go to like 0.5 or 1. We're going that to have to wait fast. until you're finished drilling before we can see the results of my paint scheme. I can see most of it. See it from behind. 
Mostly. Uh, Quick, activate yes. the time lapse. Superman. Inventory is almost full. Inventory is full. I'm for right click drilling. Yeah, how much stone uh, have we got? Probably gonna need a gravel ejector. <laughs> stone. Uh, thirty-six thousand. Thirty-eight. Five hundred eighty-five thousand. Got about three million. million. Yeah, three two million. Tons. Going for that point where the entire bit of the drills are in contact with the asteroid. Yeah, that's what I was just looking at. About ten more meters, I think. Yeah, I figured I'd push until that point. Rather than saving the resources. I can't wait for us to do all this and then discover the tube is slightly not long enough for the Skywarp to fight inside. Oh, and the giant hole from the crater above that's going to be in the side of the tube. I mean, that might not be a bad thing. True. I'm just thinking now, if you were to hypothetically just lose power and fall, I'm thinking, would it fall off the asteroid or stay on it? I mean, a lot of the weight is at the front. Uh, I believe we may be at full contact now. Yeah, I think we are at full contact. Close enough. Full contact, full insanity. Well, yes, we've got a lot of iron, nickel, silicon, and <laughs> gravel. All <Yes>. <laughs> reactors. Hooray! Think of all the gardens we can landscape. Yeah, I uh, there's so much junk. Uh, we, but... we use it to build the asteroid base. Yes, yes, yes. Sure, sure, sure. You're gonna need to build a lot of refineries on the asteroid base yes. to deal with and all a lot of the solar stone. panels. Uh, yes, all the solar panels. Well, next time, I guess I will spend three hours digging through the asteroid at 0.1 meters per second, and you guys will do some other stuff. So there's all that, and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. <laughs> Why did you wait so long? Because <laughs> I had a mouthful of drink. <laughs> <laughs>